The overall aim of the following protocol is to measure anxiety-like behaviour in rodents. This is achieved by using a specially designed piece of equipment called the successive alleys apparatus. The successive alleys apparatus consists of a series of progressively narrowing alleys, which also decrease in the height of their walls. The anxiogenic nature of the alleys increases as the animal moves towards the narrow, open end. Results are obtained that demonstrate changes in anxiety-like behaviour after genetic or pharmacological intervention. The main advantage of the successive alleys technique unlike existing methods like the elevated plus maze, is that there is no central area where the nature of the exploratory behaviour is rather ambiguous. The successive alleys apparatus consists of four linearly connected alleys made of wood. The alleys are designed to increase in their anxiogenic nature as they move further from the starting point. Each alley is 25 centimeters long. The width of each alley gradually decreases. Similarly, the height of the walls decreases with each successive alley. A clamp secures the apparatus to a lab bench, raising it approximately 50 centimeters above the floor. The open end of alley 1 should be at least 10 centimetres away from the support to prevent